Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. Next week, I begin reviewing Cryo Botanicals in my B.O.B. 123 series. That's Black-owned brands only, three wash day reviews, three styles, three company, and or founder facts per video. I reviewed Cryo Botanicals products for the first time back in March of 2020, when my channel was just a wee one month old. Then again in July in my dual wash day series, where it featured in two rounds. My dual wash day series, just by the way, was a series I did over the summer last year where I pitted all of the products in my collection against each other to see which ones worked the best in my hair. I really liked the Cryo Botanicals products back then, but I feel like my hair is very different now than it was back then. I was still building my routine and I didn't even rewatch my videos to see what my real thoughts were at the time of each of the individual products. This is gonna be its own completely isolated, unbiased review of the products that I did review back in July. I loved Cryo Botanicals for their ingredients, even before I knew a single thing about ingredients or that it was even something to look into. I was probably still on my don't use chemical ingredients in your hair care. All chemicals, if you can't pronounce them, must be the devil, blah, blah, blah. Well, now I know about ingredients. As much as I've hardly been able to even scratch the surface in the last eight months of my discovery of this just like vastly, seemingly endless list of ingredients and so many things to learn about what is good and what is bad for your hair. So many months removed and having tried so many other brands with just like really simple Ayurvedic herb based, just like amazing ingredient lists. I would still say that Cryo Botanicals is seemingly among the best within the clean ingredients category. Ahead of all of my three week review series, I like to introduce the kinds of ingredients or standouts you'll come across in the ingredient list throughout the collection, targeting those I haven't yet covered in videos or anything that stands out to me for whatever reason. Cryo Botanicals actually, like quite a few brands these days, does provide notes on their ingredients on their website, but where there's more potential to give more color, I'm happy to introduce those ingredients here to embellish a little bit. I'm gonna highlight seven ingredients and what they do for your hair. And this is definitely one of the brands I have been long excited to try again. To this day, I haven't come across any other product line that uses this many fruits and vegetables in their products. Just a couple weeks ago, Nick and I did update the directory on uptightcurls.com. Cryobotanicals has added more products and they have updated their ingredient lists since I last reviewed them. So you can search Cryobotanicals products specifically by ingredients they do or do not contain on uptightcurls.com. And I will list all the products that I'm gonna be reviewing in the description box below. By the way, while I still have you here, do you read description boxes? There are 87 ingredients across 12 products and they make products targeted separately for low porosity and high porosity hair. You can check out the Natural Hair Typing 101 page on uptightcurls.com for more on porosity if you are unfamiliar. The first ingredient I'm going to review is Murumuru Butter. This softens the hair strands and locks in moisture. It also helps to maintain the elasticity of the hair strands, which helps to reduce breakage. Further, it is a natural color booster. Just a good FYI. Number two is Blackberry. Blackberry as a fruit extract adds volume, shine, and bounce to your hair. Just following up on a conversation I had with Tamari from Fab Hair Internationals this past weekend on my live, all hair is not actually able to achieve shine. But it's possible that should you be able to attain it, maybe blackberry will help. Number three is strawberry. Strawberries are naturally rich in vitamin C, magnesium, omega-3 fatty acids, and copper. While also great applied topically, eating strawberries can help with preventing hair loss as it's a good source of ellagic acid, which helps to naturally protect against hair thinning and hair fall. When used topically, strawberries can help fight dandruff and also nourish your hair strands. Not to mention it provides a natural fragrance. Who doesn't like smelling like strawberries? Number four is spinach. And you should eat this in abundance as well because <laughs> Popeye. As it pertains to topical application, it can also help with healthy hair growth. Spinach is rich in vitamins K, B1, which is thiamine, B2, riboflavin, B6, pyridoxine, vitamins A, C, and E. Also the minerals, zinc and iron, and also omega-3 fatty acids. Essentially, the goat for your hair. Number five is alfalfa. Because it is such a deep-rooted plant, it is really excellent at soaking up tons of vitamins and minerals while it grows. It is also naturally rich in vitamins A, C, E, and K. That being said, however, alfalfa, per my research, is only now regarded as an antioxidant just due to the lack of human research to confirm any additional benefits. And I say that because just because something is very rich in vitamins and minerals doesn't necessarily mean that it can translate to your hair. So this is one of the ones where it just hasn't been tested enough for them to 
make claims above its antioxidant properties. You can get the antioxidants from vitamin C and vitamin E. I do have a video on the benefits for your hair of vitamins A through E, so check that out if you're interested. I have both a short and a longer, it's only like five minutes though, video. Number six is raspberries. Now this is an exciting one. So they also have a very high concentration of essential fatty acids, ones that are vital to proper skin health and functioning, and therefore health and functioning of your scalp and its follicles. These fatty acids moisturize, speed the rate of repair for damaged cuticles, and they are anti-inflammatory. To further its anti-inflammation properties, raspberry oil also has the highest content of alpha linolenic acid of any fruit seed. And it's always nice to be the best, right? Further, raspberries can regulate oil production and lock in moisture. It is a light oil and it absorbs very quickly into the skin, improving elasticity to the hair strands and it nourishes the scalp. In addition, a good concentration of both vitamin E and another antioxidant, polyphenols, make raspberry oil a great antioxidant, protecting well against UV radiation specifically. Number seven is horsetail, and please disregard the screaming that you hear in the background. There she goes. Horsetail strengthens the hair strands and promotes its growth through improved blood circulation. It has both antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, and it has the highest concentration of naturally occurring silica of any other single plant source. So there we have it, a quick seven ingredient rundown for you. You've got some moisturization, you got some strengthening, some antioxidant, some anti-inflammation. I mean, what more could a natural hair strand ask for? All of these ingredients, and of course, many, many more, are on the ingredients tab on my website. So feel free to visit there anytime for a refresher. Have you used Cryo Botanicals before? I'd love to know your impressions before. Meanwhile, I will see you in my first review next week, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed my content and haven't done so already, please consider subscribing, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.